Welcome back to Show Me The Money. And the next contestant is Steve. Hello. Hello, and here's your first question. What do experts believe the oldest type of money was? Bananas, shells, cows, or trees? Oh, let me think. Well, not bananas and not trees either. Mmm, you know, there's many people who are farmers. Okay, cows. The oldest type of money was cows. As far back as 9000 BC, people were using cows as money. Interestingly, the first coins that were made of bronze appeared about 3000 years ago, and they're in the shape of cows. So, you have 100 pounds. And here is the next question. A cash machine in Japan gives out money that is calorie-free, bacteria-free, sugar-free, or paper-free. Oh, what a question. Mm, let's say bacteria-free. And that's correct. There is a cash machine in Japan that presses the banknotes on a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius for a tenth of a second. And the fact is that the banknotes are bacteria-free. Okay, Steve, you have 500 pounds. And here is your next question. Monopoly is a popular money-related board game. If you took all the play money produced for this game so far and made it into a tower, how high would that tower be? Would its height be 10 kilometers, 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, or 2,000 kilometers? Oh, we used to play Monopoly all the time that we were kids. Oh, it must be very high. It came in our ages. I'll say uh, 2,000 kilometers. You say 2,000 kilometers, and that is absolutely right. 2,000 kilometers, incredible. That costs you 1,000 pounds. Next question. Imagine you have 10 billion banknotes. It doesn't matter which currency they're in. You spend one banknote per second. How many years will be before you have no money left? Mm, will it be 3 years, 31 years, 317 years, or 3178 years? Um, I complete guess. Uh, 317. And the lucky one, you're correct. And got you 5,000 pounds. Okay, this is where it gets serious. The wrong answer now, and you live with nothing. That isn't going to happen. Okay, so here is your next question. You remember, you don't have to answer it. An American named Mua paid $10,000 for a piece of chewed bubble gum, a pair of jeans, a bowl of chicken soup, or a used toothbrush. No idea. Do you want to take a guess? Uh, no, I think I'll take my money. Fair enough. Steve Rodman, you take away 5,000 pounds. Incidentally, the correct answer isn't Pisa Chu's guy. And it was chewed but his favorite baseball star, Luis Gonzalez. Not a pleasant thought, but... Uh, present win for Steve. Congratulations.